Now they pick up the narrative directly. Yeah. Obviously, the video doesn't want to do what we would like to do. It was a video that shares how we bring a group of students, and we did it over over twenty years uh, on a regular base into our home. Um, transformed our own home into a home campus and students actually were working in developing their own visions for becoming an agent of transformation and building uh, often in, in one particular course also together with with uh, practical cases from around the world solutions to burning issues in different cultures um, and this has be, been the uh, the root actually of what later then became the, um, the Home for Humanity movement. Mm -hmm. So what we found very simply is by bringing students out of the university, out of the classroom, which sadly enough still are these square boxes which cramp any kind of um, innovation, any sense of, um, of creativity, individuality, by bringing them home and actually asking them the fundamental questions, who are you? What is your purpose? What is your passion? What is your potential? And not simply asking them for a rational answer, but bringing them into the heart of nature because our home is a simple um, farmhouse in the middle of nature in rural France. Um, and so putting them in nature, putting them in touch with their inner and outer dreams, uh, enabling them to connect to the cultures around the world, to their own creativity, to indigenous wisdom, as well as to innovative new emerging wisdom, and letting them recognize that all of life is about contributing and making um, an impact, a positive impact to the well-being of life on earth. We saw the incredible transformative impact of feeling at home. We recognize that as these young people felt at home, not just the young people, because Alexander's PhD students from around the world also came, including dear Dowd, who is on the call, Dr. Mm -hmm. Dowd Taranike, uh, who was then already a well-established uh, leader in his society when he took on this, this PhD and came home. But simply being at home, seeing your professors, not as professors, but as cohabitants with whom you shared space, cooked and ate together, uh, we recognized how being at home, having the sense of full, of being seen, heard, known, and recognized for who you are and who you could become, enable people to go beyond themselves and tap into their highest imagination, potential, and creativity, which also led us to recognize how there is this other home that's burning and calling for, att for our attention, which is the earth home. And that's what led our very integral approach and philosophy, which is in all of our pedagogy of starting with the humanity, our deepest values, with our reconnection to nature and the earth and regenerating nature to culture and cre creativity to generate a culture of peace and integrity to transformative knowledge and education uh, and to societal uh, you know, paradigm shift and systems change came up with a very simple approach to how we could all become co-creators in transforming our divided world and endangered planet into an inclusive home for humanity, which would simply start from activating our inner home, our deeper sense of purpose and potential, doing whatever we wish to fulfill our, our purpose and potential by contributing to the local home of our communities, our cultures, our societies, always keeping in mind our earth home. And there's a little seven, uh, seven units. Yes, we want to see, we have one other beautiful little video which we would like to share if it works. But we wanted to, to hold once more this thought that over the years, literally a home-based pedagogy grew out of this work where we noticed, as Rama shared, that in connection between the development of the inner home, <laughs> The development of the inner home is connected then to a manifestation of an outer home, or you may call it a transformative initiative, which is authentic to a person and to a context and to a culture where it is rooted in and altogether contributing to an earth's home. This triple layered 
home-based pedagogy grew actually into an engine of manifestation because the passion we were having is how can we how can the transformation the education of our time be a, a transformative vehicle to build a regenerative future for all of life education is is so messed up on the planet that it is focusing on individual um, advancement only and purely and mostly from a Western lens that we actually have um, lost the capacity to use um, education as a collective vehicle for a locally authentic transformation and societal renewal. That was our passion and out of the work over the last 25 years, a whole mm -hmm. string of of manifestations, of initiatives, of enterprises, of schools and universities, literally on all continents, grew into what is now the Homes for Humanity movement, all working with a similar pedagogy, all focusing on transforming their local communities, people, community, and society into um, a more regenerative and inclusive society. And having so said that- I figure out, I hear you, I figure out before you share, go to advance and then in the mm -hmm. sound and activate a sharing the sound of the computer and then go back to the screens uh, one. So, and then you put share the screen. Yeah, say that one more time, please. So we get the so sequence. When you, when you press share, yeah. yeah. You will have uh, screens, documents, and advanced. Go to the advanced setting. Advanced. And then setting. in the options, yeah, the last tab. In the options, you have it's sharing, on. share sound, uh -huh. or audio. It's on. Yeah. Yeah, it's and, and then optimize for sharing uh, video. Okay. We go did back it. to the, go it's... back to the screen tab and share the screen you're gonna share. Hopefully that will work. Now we go to the screen. Okay. And okay, let's see if it works well and good. And please, and if it everyone, work, we just take it from everyone. There. Keep your fingers crossed. We are pressing the. Can you see already the screen? Let's go. For it. Yeah, but why don't you make it full screen first before you start? The world Can you hear it? Like humanity. Yeah. Yes. Coming. More and more divided and destructive. Perhaps you, like too many others today, would like to do something but feel just like a drop in the ocean. Maybe you've even thought that there is so much knowledge, diversity, beauty, and abundance on this planet that surely out there, there are answers to the burning issues of our time. What if I told you that you could be a vital part of a planetary future building movement to reconnect humanity, to co-create an inclusive future and nurture new ways of regenerating our own planets. Then you need to hear this. Home for Humanity is a growing planetary movement with more than 30 paradigm shifting initiatives in more than 25 countries and all continents, all working together to build a better future for all life. As a collective, the have launched the one home journey, a great exhibition of seven years to yours to every country on earth, connecting our citizen home to home across continents. Spending seven days for learning and the co-creation for each society to build a regenerative and inclusive future, personally, locally, and globally for the next seven generations. And this is where you can make a big difference for yourself, for your community, and for the world by joining a green planetary community of future builder. Participating in the exciting co-learning journey of the mobile One Home University. As an ambassador and by launching your home for humanity, and of course, by inviting your friends. Click the link below or swipe up to learn how you can support or join the One Home journey and make a change for generations to come. So friends, how was that little glimpse of our young people from around the world who got together to create this little film? Uh, we have to say, we've seen it many times now since they made it almost a year ago before the journey 
became a reality. And each time we watch it, we still adore it. So if you have a little bit of feedback for them, they would love to hear that. Uh, but that's what it was. It seemed we received this vision that the next step at this time of planetary collapse was really for our movement to take the lead with all of the, our local partners, our local homes for humanity, some of them new, some of them who've been there for four, five, six decades, creating transformative change, being the paradigm shift, living this new paradigm of the interconnected wholeness of life in their daily lives, in their local communities and organizations. So that was what has uh, was prepared over the last year with all our homes for humanity. And that's what we've initiated. And as I said earlier, we are now, we've just completed the first month and the first four country, uh, three countries and are embarking on the fourth. So what has this meant? What does it look like literally if the earth, our one shared home, were our teacher, were our classroom, were our um, co-creator, and if we recognize that literally every single one of us, whatever our age, culture, background, circumstances, has a vital role to play in co-creating this future. What if we could use this as an opportunity to truly reconnect the family of life on Earth, not just the human family, but humanity really living up to the unity which is embedded within our name, uh, the unity with ourselves, with each other across all our diverse cultures, in all our diverse communities, geographies, and circumstances, and with all of life on Earth. And with that, dear friends, as we are traveling literally home to home on the one home journey over the next seven years, the purpose is also to highlight the innovative practices that can be found in each and every culture to the response in response to the vital question around which the One Home University is cycling of focusing on how can we transform our divided world and endangered planet into a regenerative and inclusive, inclusive home for all of life. How can we transform our divided world and our Oops. endangered planet into an inclusive home for the family of life, not just for humanity. And we are um, looking for responses. We are immersing ourselves culture to culture in these different homes for humanity, pioneering showcases that give us glimpses for building the future, each actually culturally and socially contextualized and sharing these um, these um, gems with the world and thereby building up what we are calling a one earth curriculum and we want to give you a sense for the homes which already are united around the planet and you get here a sense i'm here on our website uh, on one of the the pages called the homes for humanity just to give you a first glimpse what are the diversity the, and the diversity yeah. from a theater uh, in school, schools in Jordan to um, a community grassroots initiative in India um, to a cultural transformative center also in India uh, to Heliopolis University for Sustainable Development in Egypt, uh, then Huerto Roma Verde in Mexico, dear Yeo, um, that you probably know, um, fostering biosocial well being. Um, the integral Komusha that you will later meet uh, briefly in um, Zimbabwe, um, one of our, our latest one, Makers Valley, which we were just in in South Africa, which is in Bertrams, one of the very um, rundown townships, really recreating transformative um, social enterprises. Indeed, that's there. We met Shivani, who's one of the participants yeah. mm -hmm. in this uh, reimagining conf uh, education conference. So really this diversity where every home is embodying the innovation, transformation, inclusion, and impact that it can have on individuals, on communities and on our earth home. And these are all the co-creators of the One Home University. And you Maybe see here everything from enterprises to community initiatives, to schools, universities, 
women's initiatives, youth initiatives, coming together in co-creation, literally building, friends, what we are calling an Earth campus. So the university is not anymore the one building we go to with um, 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 square classrooms and standardized curriculum, but we are learning literally from the practice on the ground. So our intention with this university, our collective intention was as we said earlier, that every single person be a co-creator of the future, uh, no longer a future that is a hegemonic decision of those, the, the powers that be. Um, but for this, it meant that the university, would, the one home unit, Earth City, would have to be free for all. And that was really building on what we had already started with the, the Homes for Humanity movement, a gifting culture a gifting culture so that we can celebrate what is so innate to our humanity, our spirit of sharing, because through sharing, we can have shared abundance, our spirit of hospitality, of generosity that is so natural to us uh, in every culture on the world. And that is indeed what is kind of underpinning, has underpinned the Home for Humanity movement and is crucial for the One Home University. And we started this with absolute trust that as we go country to country, just as we receive the gifts of, wind, of wisdom, the gifts of innovation, the wisdom of our indigenous elders, the innovations of contemporary or existing change makers, paradigm shifters, innovators in society, and the enthusiasm of young change makers who are wanting to learn, wanting to be seen and supported, uh, we will also receive the generosity of gifts of people who recognize what this is worth. And that would enable us to always ensure that everyone can have access to the One Home University. And that um, also because we are so devoted to cultural diversity, that it would be something that would be possible for everyone to follow in their own language because they wouldn't join it as individuals, they would join as ecosystems of learning. We call it the power of seven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So in that sense, what is absolutely vital in the time we are living in, that the One Home University has the aspiration of really bringing humanity together in an earth family. Every culture counts, every cultural wisdom, every locality, has a voice to speak, and every person is invited as an Earth citizen to join, as Rama said, for free. And we have actually developed um, almost post-university um, program styles because no qualification is needed to participate. The only qualification that is needed is really motivation. And ways to engage in, is like a 12 weeks process, which is called the Earth Citizen Certificate, where for 12 weeks you travel with us one season online and you learn from six to eight countries in a virtual journey week by week. Actually, we have these Earth family calls where we bring pioneering voices from every country together in order to share the local wisdom of each society and learn then as we are building up a planetary community. If you join for an entire year, you can enroll so, so not in a master's program, but in the Mother Earth Diploma. And you see it written here. It's not a diploma as we know it. Here you are building your own home for humanity, your own transformative initiatives in the course of a year, or you strengthen the one that you already uh, are building up. Or if you join us for three years and travel with us virtually, you enroll in the Earth PhD, a planetary healing diploma where you're not only developing your own initiative, but also tie it and weave it actually into a planetary co-learning, co-innovation and co-impact community. And support others, mentor others uh, to do so as well. Uh, so this is a little bit where we have, and of course, because building on all the work we've done, most of our work, mine in peace, conflict and justice, uh, particularly post-conflict justice, uh, and governance over the last 30 years, and Alexander's more in transformative education, mm. organizational and societal transformation has been in countries in conflict, in crisis, and, and so on. And that's where we've seen, and that's how the Home for Humanity movement has built up, how in every situation of conflict, 
and crisis and breakdown, ecological, environmental, economic, and political breakdown, it is then that the genius of, um, of individuals and communities is unleashed and incredible initiatives are created. So at this time of poly crisis, we are seeing that if we all connect our initiatives around the world, exactly like the Ecoversities Alliance has been doing, imagine the power. And that's why everything that we've been doing is with this power of seven, you know, it's a seven years for seven generations, uh, the journey on which we are seeing that if we connect up our initiatives, if we transcend the boundaries and the divisions, mm -hmm. we can really have an exponential effect uh, on transforming our divided world to create this world that would truly be a home in this time of homelessness, homelessness, displacement, loneliness, and, and fragmentation. You know, we noticed that we hit the hour, but we would absolutely love, there's so much more we could share, that we will put some links in the chat, but we would just love to get a bit of a reaction, a responses, you know, um, not so much questions as comments, engagement from all of you. This is really an invitation. It's early in the journey to join us because we really see this as a co-creative journey of exploration. Yeah, absolutely. So in a, in a nutshell, what we have try to demonstrate you know that as we are building all together the one home university every home for humanity every pioneer of future building is becoming part of a ground locally grounded but globally connected earth campus and this earth campus and today is not the time to to open that probably we have also a virtual campus that in a way collects and harvests not only the knowledge that we that we are harvesting in each and every country together and which is shared actually for free as a global commons so humanity gifts to humanity this knowledge base um, this virtual campus also serves in really to connect people who are part and parcel of this planetary co-creation community so we put a link in the chat so you can also explore and even join for free this virtual campus and we and invite you all to do so and to share it with your circles that really the idea is that it is as accessible as possible to the widest number so um that would just be yeah wonderful and let's just open up and um open up and i wonder I'll just put the chat whether we could invite Dao just to speak Dao Taranike, dr Dao Taranike from zimbabwe for a minute or two because this was the first um Earth the first week? Earth the first Week and week. the first okay. Home for Humanity that we visited in rural Zimbabwe. Daud, are you with us? Oh, yes, sure. Thank you very much. Um, and thank you, Alexander and Rama, for uh, giving me this opportunity just to share the experience that we had in Zimbabwe uh, during the first week, the Earth Week in Zimbabwe, where we uh, immerse ourselves in co-creating knowledge and uh, learning together, uh, peer learning and also learning from the wisdom of the uh, uh, elders and also helping even the young ones to learn and to explore their dreams and uh, getting the, the youth for the future to explore their potential and uh, provide an opportunity for their growth and to see life in a different paradigm of uh, transformative uh, development. So as the women in the communities, just to get them as women for the future, who would then uh, impact the future in a different way and as change makers and as wayfinders. And that was an extremely, incredible experience that has uh, helped everyone to see the transformative and regenerative uh, uh, aspect of the one home journey and the one home uni at university thank you very much uh, that's briefly what i can say in the minute but uh, a lot of things that happened during the week loaded transformative and very educative in a particularly different way. Well, not only did we deeply enjoy from our side this session, but we truly invite each and every one 
who would like to know more, who would like to be engaged, involved, reach out. Uh, we're still having the chat open and um, we are really seeing this as a journey of uh, planetary co-creation unfolding over the next seven years. So welcome to the, the One Home Journey and One Home University. Well, Thank you so much. It's been beautiful being here. We just wish we had more time because we would have really, really loved to engage and mm -hmm. yeah, just have a, a lively conversation. But we hope the conversation can continue. <laughs>